Finton headed to Athlone to meet another of our Irish space professionals. Kira Ward is a sports scientist and exercise physiologist. Hi, Finton, lovely to meet you. Hello, Kira. Welcome. Thank you. Hi. Are you coming up to the Sports Science Lab? Yeah. Imagine you were going to Mars. Well, you'd spend months in a spacecraft getting there. So Kira did research to see what happens to the human body if you spend 60 days in bed. They shower in bed, eat in bed, train in that position, go to the toilet in that position. Yes, she said, go to the toilet in that position. Sometimes science is just weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's not as good as it looks. Yeah. So overall, what was the key learnings after the tests? So we found that the jump training that they did, the four minutes every day, could actually successfully preserve muscle mass, aerobic fitness as well. So our better subjects are healthy at the start. They're healthy at the end, but they've still had a significant change in their physiology. Yeah. So how their body works. So we really need to refine our countermeasures to see can we actually, you know, successfully maintain all our body systems. One of the countermeasures is exercise in space. And Finton has just spotted something called an anti-gravity treadmill. So what is the anti-gravity treadmill? So the Ultra-G uses patented NASA differential air technology to help unweight the subject that's in the anti-gravity treadmill. So it was primarily designed for astronauts to train before, during and after space flight. And they actually had one of these on the International Space Station. So since I'm going to be an astronaut someday, can I have a shot on it? Of course you can, but we have to get you equipped first. That's, great. <laughs> that's it. Pull them right up to your waist. And in. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. Okie doke, so I'm going to lift this up now. Is it going to feel weird when I run? Uh, when I reduce the body weight percentage, yeah. <laughs> you press the minus. minus. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start decrease. If you go to 70 first. Perfect. How does that feel? Yeah, actually, Are we a bit lighter? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just leave it one second. So if you want to go down to 40. It yeah. feels weird. Man, like... <laughs> it feels like I'm like locked off with half my body or something. Like I'm light. It's very light. <laughs> and walking on water. I'm right now on 41% of my body weight. How much exercise do astronauts do each day in space? So the current time allocated for astronauts to exercise in space is two and a half hours, six days per week. And of that, they do about 60 to 75 minutes of resistance training. So that would be used the advanced resistive exercise device. And then they'll also do 30 to 40 minutes of aerobic training. So they'll be harnessed to the treadmill and yeah. they'll be jogging, running, etc. So exercising really is important. Exercising really is important. OK, so if you want to slowly bring yourself back up to 100%, that's it, keep going. You coming back down? I can actually <laughs> feel Oh, the difference. You're landing again. Yeah, the difference. <laughs> there we go. Brilliant. So um, thanks for letting me have a go on the Alter G. That was really fun. Going 41% of my body weight. Yeah. So uh, it was great to meet you. you thanks too. for everything. Thank you. No problem.